Hello everyone. All right, just a quick box of Pro Debut. Four autos per box. Saw the finest on the shelf, and I looked at this. I was like, hmm, I could get three of these for the price of one of those. So I just picked one up. Figure I need to be saving money for Series 1 and 2023. So might as well start now. I need to be disciplined with sports cards. <laughs> Budget is very important. At least to me it is. So I, I touch on that quite a bit when I do my breaks. But yeah, let's do this box pro debut. Four autographs per box. Uh, this is just the regular hobby version. There's also a jumbo version, and those have the Chrome exclusive, I believe, it's a two or three autographs. But it's weird because the jumbo boxes have more packs, more cards, and fewer autographs, yet are called jumbo for some reason. Hmm, but my packs are in here. Uh, 24 cards, 8 cards per pack. We get some prospects out of here. Let's see what's going on. So, Pro Debut, I like this stuff. Uh, lots of sticker autographs, unfortunately, but I mean, when you're talking $70 a box, yeah, something, something's something got to give. So, it's a quick box of Pro Debut. Let's see what we get. Start with ripping packs here. So, should be a good number of prospects. I'll pull some out. Riley Green, he should have a rookie card next year. Uh, George Valera, that's a good prospect. Uh, Leonard Fox. Mario. Grayson Rodriguez, he should have a rookie card as well next year. And Ellie De La Cruz. So, I've been watching this guy. He's a pretty hot prospect uh, for the Reds. So, it's a ton of home runs and shooting up that list very quickly. So... Yeah, that's a good one. So two nice prospects, Valera De La Cruz, and uh, two future rookie cards in Grayson Rodriguez and Riley Green. I think I think Grayson Rodriguez, did he have his debut? He should be up in 2023 regardless. That's my guess. So, all right, let's keep on going. Got lots of packs here, so keep them moving. And, uh, should, get a, oh, should get a couple parallels, a couple color parallels. That looks like an insert. So Luciano Pena, Arias Edwards, another Luciano card. So two in the pack. Nolan Jones, Luis Rodriguez, Iggy Rosario. Nobody I recognize, but you're not gonna recognize very many names when you open up, unless you do your homework. You know, you're not gonna recognize too many names out of Bowman, Bowman Draft, uh, Bowman Chrome Pro Debut. Uh, Heritage Miners, unless, yeah, you do your homework ahead of time, and uh, I, I do know the prospects pretty well, I just don't know all of them, <laughs> you know, I, for every team, I'm not expert by any means, so, Gabriel Rodriguez, Ruben Barra, Kobe Mayo, it's another uh, Baltimore prospect, Baltimore's got a pretty deep farm system, and they should be all coming up this year and next year, this is a blue parallel, underneath there so Cooper Bowman let's see what this parallel is uh Yo Hendrick Pinago Pinago okay yeah another prospect I don't really know but nice outfielder prospect that's good and uh what is he in double A I'm guessing don't know the uh minor league teams too well but that's a nice autograph there to 150 so yeah, pretty nice card there. Let's leave that up. Ryan Bliss, Lonnie Walker, Colin Kowser, another Baltimore prospect. Yeah, Pro Debut has so many Baltimore, well, any minor league uh, product right now has a lot of Baltimore prospects. So, I don't know, I think they have the, they're going to need them if they want to compete in AL East for sure. So, alright, there's our first autograph. Yeah, pro debut. I mean, these are all sticker autographs, but we get four of them. So just the math on that, I think, yeah, a little over $17 per autograph, plus all the cards. So I, I like this product. I think it's a nice value product for uh, minor league prospect cards. So if you kind of want to get into prospects and just get the feel for it, I suggest this and Heritage Miners. And Heritage Miners is even cheaper than this. And the cards, the autos are on card. The Barry Zito. Cool minor league card. Yep. 
pretty decent career. At least when he played for Oakland. Nice insert there. Uh, JJ Blade. I've got him on my list of prospects that should be hitting the majors next year. So, uh, Milcar Perez, Isaac Pacheco. Okay. All right. Eight cards per pack. So, I feel a little lighter than normal packs, but good number of cards. Um, about 192, I think, if my math is correct. Jim Martinez, Colin Burns. Warming Bernabell, another prospect. Uh, heard his name. Can't tell you too much about him. Then, yeah. Yeah, mostly you'll buy Pro Debut for the autographs. I mean, yeah, we'll get four out of here, so we should get hits pretty often here. Uh, there's a Colson Montgomery. He's a pretty high pick. Four from last year's draft. Hunter Goodman, Pedro Panetta, Harry Ford, catcher for the Mariners. Uh, I think he's a top 100 prospect, so there's a little insert of him. Darren Baker, this is Dusty Baker's son. I just somebody told me that, and I was pretty, pretty interest, pretty interesting. Did not know, son of Dusty Baker. So maybe they'll trade for him. They'll they'll end up uh, father son manager player combo. Jay Allen, Alan Serta. Put this on the prospect pile. It's a pretty cool one. Yeah, another thing about. Uh, a lot of these minor league products is, you know, they have some interesting players, not this year, but, you know, they've had Tim Tebow, Russell Wilson have had prospect cards, so those are pretty cool. I would get a chance. I would see if you can, I kind of want to find those cards and just have them in my collection. So there's an interesting pink parallel back there. Jordan Lawler is another Diamondbacks prospect. What is this? Bubba Chandler, Pirates. This one's to 199. Looks like a pink parallel. Pretty cool. Yeah, lots of good amount of color, especially in the jumbos. I like the jumbos. There's Tatis's brother. I'm not even sure if he's still in the minors right now, but Elijah Tatis. And uh, yeah, let's keep on going. Castro, Kessing Hirsted, another Baltimore prospect. <laughs> Uh, this guy was drafted really high, and then he had some he had some health issues, but he seems to be back in the back in the mix. So this is definitely a sleeper prospect on my list. Uh, Ryan Holgate, very high draft pick. Robert Hassel, another high draft pick. Um, all right, yeah. So we're expecting three more autographs. I'm hoping to get some nice color, some nice low number color cards. That'd be pretty cool. They do. You should get a decent number of them, I think, out of a box. Uh, the other Max Muncie, Ezekiel Tovar. There's another good prospect. Um, he should have a rookie card too in 2023. Oh, and there you go. There we go. Speak of. Uh... <laughs> There's my Tatis autograph. Well, yeah, this will go right next to my uh, Fernando Tatis autograph, but. Nice little Elijah Tatis autograph. Uh, Austin Hendrick. Hopefully he ends up like his brother. That's a cool one. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm hoping Michael Harris is in here. That'd be cool to get a nice prospect card of him. I'm not sure if he's in the checklist, though, so hopefully we will find out. There's Maximo Costa. There's another good prospect. Anytime you see the guys uh, again and again in Bowman and Heritage Miners and Pro Debut, chances are they're a pretty good prospect. Like someone like Jason Dominguez has how many cards already? And he's, he hasn't even played a single game above Double A yet, unless he got a late season call up to Triple A. It's a nice Jorge Posada. That's a cool card. I'm not a Yankees fan, but I know somebody who might want this card. Matt Frazier, that is, all right, 
Speak of Jason Dominguez, there's your Jason Dominguez. <laughs> He's in freaking everything, or he has been for like the last three years, so. Man, there's so many Jason Dominguez cards out there. And, yeah, we'll have to see. But, I mean, I've been, I've been following. I mean, if you have, if you open up a good amount of minor league cards, then, yeah. You kind of need to know just how he's doing because, yeah, you're going to end up with a lot of his cards. So, Robert Hassel, Oscar Colas. This guy hit, like, I don't know, he hit a lot of um, home runs in the minor leagues last year. So, another prospect I'm watching. Not very high on that list yet, but, man, he's, looks like he's got power. So, another prospect I'm watching. These are Francisco Alvarez. Right now he's the number one prospect in the major leagues, so good to get his card. Another catcher. We'll have to see um, how he ends up, so definitely another good minor league prospect card there. Errol Vera, pretty decent prospect. Max Ferguson. Alright, getting a little low here. So we should be getting two more autographs and uh, hopefully a few more parallels. So far, just the one pink parallel, so keep on going. Everson Artiaga is with the Giants. He's a pretty good prospect. Shea Langoliers, he should have a rookie card next year. Frelick. Nolan Gorman, another rookie. He'll have a rookie card in Series 1. Quero, Jeter Downs. Two more guys who I think will have rookie cards sometime in 2023. All right, two more autographs. Let's see if we can hit a big name out of here. Wow, look at that name. That takes up like the whole... <laughs> I, just saw, I just saw a wall of text there. I was like, okay. Uh, interesting. Alec Thomas. Solanto Torres. Tyler Black. Andy Volpe. Another high, highly regarded prospect here. It's in that top ten, I think. And yeah, look at look at that. Look how small they had to make that name <laughs> to make it fit. <laughs> Even push the logo out of the freaking um, off to the side. Interesting. All right, a few more packs here. Finish this up. Um, there's Ronnie Acuna's brother, Luis Angel Acuna, Cody Morissette, two more autos, not a whole lot of color in these, I opened up the Jumbo and that had just a ton, I think I was getting, you know, five or six color cards per box, and the Jumbos, they were costing a little bit more, but again with the Chrome Parallels, um, I don't know, I think, I don't know which one would be better. I'd probably lean towards the Jumbos just for the Chrome uh, chrome base cards. Very similar to the Bowman Chrome stuff. Just with the uh, 22 design. And no Bowman First logo, of course. Alright. Robert Poisson. Big prospect. Uh, still has to develop. We'll see. With him. Henry Davis. Cover guy. Pretty cool. There's an autograph. So Christian Franklin. Outfielder. Myrtle Beach. Huh. What team is that? I'll have to look him up. Cool. Another prospect card. Prospect auto. So that's three. Castillo. Harry Ford. Ethan William. Ethan Wilson. Alright. So we're expecting... One more autograph out of here. Let's see how this goes. And we'll keep on going. Hoping, hoping, to, yeah, hoping to see a couple more color cards out of here. That would be pretty good. Um, if not, then we'll know why they, this is only a $70 product. It's because there's a lot of it out there. <laughs> Phil Necro, Hall of Famer. Cool. And cool to see pictures of them in the minors back in the day, so. Cool card. Birdie House, another big name prospect there. 
Taylor, Austin Martin. This guy was like, what, number three pick? Pretty high pick in the 21 draft. All right, last few packs here. Let's keep on going. Uh, Josh Young, he should have a rookie card in 2023. Colton Kowser, insert. And yep. Five more packs. West Calf, Ian Lewis, Zardo, TJ White, Yoki Cespedes. This is another big international signing. I'll have to see. This, um, he's, um, brother of, what's his name? Can't remember. There's another Cespedes in the majors. I think that's the brother. And last few packs. Cal Conley, Pinego, Jordan Walker, insert. Trimble, Mac, Rodriguez, Escato. Okay. Dominguez, Piguero. Oh, there's our fourth autograph, and it is a Milcar Perez. Uh, when I open the boxes of this, the, the jumbos, I don't have those on camera. I did pull an autograph, so that's why this autograph looked familiar to me. So there's our fourth autograph of the box. Um, I'll go through those in a bit, but Diego Cartaya, there's another big prospect. The good thing about all of these autographs is I don't think I got a single pitcher, which is pretty nice, to be honest. When you do a Bowman Draft or Bowman Chrome, man, it is brutal when you buy a box of that stuff and you get a pitcher prospect that is just harsh <laughs> or two pitcher uh prospects or all your three out of three it is brutal because those boxes can run you know 300 was it jumbo 600 this year and man when you get like two or three pitcher autographs that is just brutal so uh even if i don't know any of these prospects except for maybe elijah tatis i'll look up the other ones later on after after i'm done here at least we got four position player autographs. So I'm pretty happy about that. There's Adley Rutschman. So, yeah, he'll have his rookie card as well in 23. Okay, there's another pink parallel. Andrew Painter. <laughs> I was just talking about pitchers. That's a cool one. Pink parallel. Um, did this guy come up already? I can't remember. Might have. I don't know why I... I recognize that name but that's a pretty nice one there's a benny montgomery there's another big prospect okay last pack let's go one more color card the boys can't see up yep, one more color card <laughs> blaze jordan all right that's another cool prospect uh, he's got videos of him hitting bombs as a 12 year old um Pretty cool. Ooh, okay, there you go. It's a nice one. Wow. Okay, so Francisco Alvarez, Green Parallel, number one prospect. Definitely, that is a card. So this one's to 99. Very nice card here. Um, try not something that's too terribly valuable. Just, yeah, these are only prospect cards. Minor league prospect cards, but... You know, when you get a nice parallel of the number one prospect in the majors right now, then definitely. So yeah, there we go. Francisco Alvarez, number one prospect. Let's go. So let's recap the box real quick. That's good. I've already got everything kind of laid out already here, so... Uh, tons of good prospects, all of these guys, uh, lots of big names, Adley Rutschman, uh, Francisco Alvarez, Jason Dominguez, the usual suspects, and uh, what was this, two pink parallels here, so Bubba Chandler, 
Andrew Painter. Four autographs, so Milkar Perez, Elijah Tatis. I wanted to say Junior so badly there. Christian Franklin and Yo Hendrick Penang Penango. And the good thing about all these prospect autos is that these are all position players, so outfield, third base, shortstop, and outfield. Zero pitcher autographs, which is really nice. So four out of four on the prospect autos. I don't think we pulled a top prospect, but that's fine. I think this is what you ask for. And uh, yeah, you probably just have to open a few boxes to get a big one, right? So, um, yeah, all the big prospects. A lot of the rookies are going to be up next year. So we got, yeah, Adley Rutschman. Uh, and the big card of the box, which is this Francisco Alvarez parallel. Nice pull here. 73 and 99. He is the number one prospect right now in baseball. So we'll have to see. He's a catcher. <laughs> I've said things about catchers, but we'll have to see. It's usually for, you know, defense. And uh, his ability to play even maybe possibly other other positions. But to be the number one as a catcher, it's a pretty big deal. So his hit and power tools are elite. Okay, that's a plus. And his defensive framing skills developed in Brooklyn. So probably just a great all-around catcher. So looking forward to see what happens when he gets called up to the bigs. And that will probably be next year. So, yep, what a great box. That was a pretty good one. Uh, yeah, no no big autographs, but the Alvarez parallel, I'm pretty happy about that one. And uh, these boxes are pretty cheap. So I would say, yeah, I like Pro Debut. I definitely recommend this stuff. So that'll do it for the video. Thank you for watching.